Welcome back to the worst setup ever. So when you're making music, you might be using like your typical DAWs like GarageBand, FL Studio, Ableton, Reason, etc, etc. Today we're going to be making music a little bit differently. I found this program called Sonic Pi. What Sonic Pi basically is, is a program that makes you code music instead. And I find this really interesting since I study engineering in college and I do a bit of coding on Python and MATLAB. And when I came across Sonic Pi, I was really intrigued by the whole process of making music. So I'm gonna take you on my journey to see if we can make a decent beat using Sonic Pi. So let's get right into it. I'm just gonna quickly go through the tutorial and see how to use this. So apparently this should make us have a loop working. Oh, heck yeah. If I change it to one. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, How do I do drums? Um, a Minecraft VJ? What? So if I change that with this here. Okay, cool. I'm trying to play the synth and the drum together, but since the code sees the loop, it's looping in here first. So we have to do threads. In thread, do for that, put another end here. Perfect. And then that should work now. Okay, let me try get a drum going. I'm gonna copy this bit here. I'm gonna paste it here. Alright, um, that didn't work. Oh my god, I did it! Okay, thank you. Thank you. Cool, alright, that's working. This is the name of it, I'm assuming? Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes, we got a drum going. Okay, so, because I want to put some reverb on the snare, so I have to put with effects, with effects, dash reverb, no, I'll record reverb, do, do end here, so that only does the reverb on the snare, so if I do this, there you go. I like this drum bass for, so far. It only took me 24 minutes to program, but whatever. <laughs> So I decided to jump in for a quick second because I'm currently editing the video right now and I realized that I didn't actually explain what the code does. So let's just go through it real quickly. The code that you're seeing right now is basically a live loop. And what it means when I press play, it goes to the loop and it goes through every single line and executes the command in each line. So for example, once we go into the loop, it plays the bass drum, sleeps for half a bar, there plays a symbol and that loop will keep going over and over until I decide to stop the program. So that was just a quick explanation on what the code actually does because I didn't actually explain it. So sorry about that. Let's get back to the video. I'm just going to open up another thing here because I want to try out the synth. Go to play C. So middle C. Cool. So what I'm trying to do is I want to get Sonic Pi to get the major pentatonic scale of let's go with D I guess and just pick random notes from it. Play, choose scale, no major pentatonic, um octaves three. Whoa. Right in close bracket. Here. There. Reverb do and then put another loop here. That should work. That's neat. I'm gonna copy that into here. So here's the synth randomizer I had. Here is the drum loop I made earlier. I think if I ha and I have in thread here, so I think that should work. I'm so surprised this works. All right, let's try to get a baseline going. If I do loop do and the end, so in thread is on. That's fine. Use synth on the outside. Actually, how do the FM sound? Oh no, what if I make this FM? Oh, okay. So, sleep to 
Yeah. Go four times. Play D. That goes to end. And then I'm going to do another four times here. Yeah. I think that should work. That did not work. <laughs> times, not time. Okay. Times. Yeah. Then I should go to A. <laughs> this is a night. Oh, that's neat. If I do some chords, I'll be really happy. A chord. Ooh. Cool. Four. Two times here. Copy this twice. Yeah. Um. That was very really cool. So that was a beat made entirely using code. So I really hope you enjoyed watching me make that. I had a lot more fun than I think I'd have. First 20 minutes, like figuring out like how to get the drums, kind of annoying. But once I got that sorted, it was really fun to actually like code everything in and have everything come together. All the tutorials here, like there's so much you can do and apparently you can import it into Minecraft or something. So um, I might try that for myself later. But in any case, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me. Once again, as always, stay safe, stay awesome, wash your hands. <laughs>